What's up, you damn gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful gamers? Welcome back to all playing games. This is Mario Alcona. In the internet, where we like to discuss about RPGs. If you like the content, if you like to have these conversations with Mario all games, uh, very much you like to invite you, like always, to hit the like button, because it really helps me, like you have no idea. And also, most of the people that watch my content are, in fact, not subscribed to my channel, so what are you waiting for? Today's video, we're going to be discussing about the bills in Gotham Knights. Amazingly enough, we have kind of... I was actually expecting this to be a little bit smaller than it actually is. For what we have seen so far, we will be able to build our characters in a way, in a specific way, that we will be able to differentiate from one player to another, even while you're using your main character. Let's say, for example, that you play co-op game, and then both of the characters, both of the people, persons <laughs> playing the game have their very same character. Their playstyle is going to be hugely different based on what they have told us and what we have seen so far. So first and foremost, you will be able to mainly build three types of build per character, although that is only going to be increasing depending on the skill tree that you decide to, to take the points. Amazingly enough, you don't actually have to fully commit yourself to one specific tree to get the skills that you want to for your playstyle. So you can mix and match them to your heart content to be able to build your character based on your preferences and based on your playstyle. So again, we have three types of skill trees for each character. For example, on Red Hood, we have the range skill tree, a melee kind of skill tree but interestingly enough this skill tree is going to be focused on using the graph mechanic from the game grabbing enemies those graphs are going to for for example in this specific skill tree red hood will be able to grab larger enemies opposite to what other characters might not and then we have a kind of berserk build where depending on how you inflict fear on your enemies is going to affect the flow of battle but the skill trees are mainly going to be passive bonuses and the ones skills the one skills that you that you take when you have fully maxed out the entire skill tree I wouldn't say that it's like far better from the very beginning to the very end of the skill tree. So again, like I said, if you see skill trees right there that you that interest you to build your character, it's going to be possible for you to take each specific individual passive bonus from the skill tree and then elaborate how you are going to make your build. So thankfully enough, me that I love to build <laughs> BLs on video games, this is going to be, have enough versatility for you to choose each kind of skill tree that you decide to. So again, just to just to round up everything, you, we have three skill trees for each, each specific actor, but those skill trees are not mandatory for you to max them out. You're not going to, if you mix them out, you're not going to be left with a character in like opposite other games where you if you do not focus yourself enough in one specific tree you end up performing a, a whole bunch of actions but sucking at the very main action so you can ch choose each individual skill that you want to whenever you want to and it's not going to affect that much so after that we have the challenges skills this picture that i have right here for you you will notice that up there are little tabs one of them is for challenges, the other one for the skill trees, and then abilities. The skill trees, the main skill tree, the knighthood skill tree, it's going to be unlocked by challenges. I believe that it's going to be something similar to, have, to what happened in Arkham Knight, where you had to perform challenges to unlock different abilities. In this case scenario, for you to unlock these skills, it's going to need for you to perform challenges. It is very, very advisable for you to do them as early game as possible because those are going to unlock some specific traits for your characters like the ultimate ability and also the world traversal ability that each one of those characters have but also the skills that you get from this skill tree are going to be the main base 
skill tree that is going to differentiate, that is going to be the signature for that character. What that character represents, it's going to be mainly this side for in this specific skill tree. The other ones are just passive bonuses, stat increases, and then this one is going to give you your signature for your specific skills or abilities that you decide to take for this character. And then, finally, we have the abilities. Those are different, opposite, they are completely, completely different from the skill trees. The skill trees are passive bonuses. Even the knighthood, some of them might give you some extra tools and assets, like I said, like the world traversal skill that each character has, or the ultimate ability. But the abilities are basically your active skills. So, again, skill trees will give you passive bonuses, and then abilities are going to give you active skills. Interestingly enough, many of these skills, uh, let's just divide them. Skills, passive bonuses, abilities, active skills. So your active skills, your abilities, are going to be impacted by the specific skills that you decide to take as passive bonuses. So even while there already is some kind of independent, independent signature, for each character that you decide to build on the main skill tree, you can also level up abilities that are going to be affected by your main skill tree. So, just to wrap up the video, we have skills, challenges skills, which are the knighthood skills, and then abilities that are active skills. That is how you are going to build your characters. And again, you can mix and match them as much as you like to build your character however you want to build that character to determine the playstyle that you're going to have your character if you want to play range or you have to you want to play more stealthy it is mentioned that robin for example he's a he has a stealth tree he's the, the all the characters can do many of these things but they will excel specifically depending on the skill trees that you decide to place for your characters. So that is basically how the, the skills and builds are going to function for Gotham Knights. Again, if you find the information useful, I would very much like for you to hit the like button because it really helps me like you have no idea. And also subscribe to the channel before you close the door. Remember that if no one has told you today that you are a gorgeous and beautiful, beautiful person, you are indeed a gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful person. A beautiful day and I'll be seeing you goddamn gorgeous and beautiful people in the next one. Goodbye.